This is going to show you how to mask out different animations motions. And through this, you also see how to use a timeline to blend motions together. But in particular, how do you make a character that's walking also wave when you only have a separate walking and waving clip? Hey, before we dive in and get started, just want to say, hi, nice to meet you. If you enjoy this video, please like it. You know, that little icon off to one side. And please follow me if you enjoyed this subject. And also leave a comment if you want to know more about gaming animation or a particular topic you would like me to cover in a future video. So let's get started. Start out by importing your characters. And you can just drag and drop your main character here. Let's set up this character. In the inspector, go under rig and choose humanoid for the animation type. Since this is the only character in the scene, let's create its own character avatar definition. So create from this model is the correct choice. Hit apply. And this avatar is going to associate the other animations that you import. There's no animations on this, but in order to see the textures on your character, if you take a look here, you don't see the textures. Under textures, click on extract textures. Make a new folder, call it whatever you want. It doesn't have to be texture or textures. And as soon as that's done, you can see now your character has its texture on it. To see your character in this space, just click and drag off into your hierarchy. F key to focus. Now this character is part of a bigger scene. So there's the scene. You need to adjust the lights on this character. Drop down the intensity back to the focus of this, which is really getting into animating this character with the timeline and masking out different animations. I'm going to drop in the running animation. And these animations came from Mixmo. But if you need to see how the animations were gathered, pop over to the very end section, you'll see how that was done. Going to also import a jumping and waving. And the real focus of this is waving. How do you combine a wave with a jump or a run? Let's set up these animations that were just imported. Selecting clip and going to the inspector, let's adjust each one to get them ready to just drag and drop onto the timeline and combine. Don't have to be concerned about materials because the materials are coming from this object. This is the jump file. Give it a, a good name. It doesn't have to be called Mixmo. It could be just called jump. And if you want something to be able to be looped, just click on loop time. Now this is a jump, so I'm not gonna loop this one. Going under rig to associate the animation with this character. First, under animation type, select humanoid. And for avatar definition, you're not going to create a new one. You're going to copy, and you're going to copy this source, the one that was originally created for this character. And that's all you have to do and click apply. You could do that for the other clips. The only difference with the other clips, remember, no materials, animation, going to make sure those loop. Because running, you're probably doing looping fashion under rig humanoid for animation type or avatar definition you're going to copy it click this little circle right here to open up the browser and click apply and the final one will be waving and we'll use that one last so again no materials animation waving will be a loop so waving and make sure it loops its time Go to rig under generic humanoid. Copy from source and for the source, make sure you select the same avatar and click apply. Excellent. Now you're all ready to get animating. And then the next step is how to mask out animation so you can blend animations together. To blend all this together, you need a timeline. And timeline will allow you to stack motions together and blend them. So create an empty object by just right clicking in hierarchy, empty object. This will be the timeline holder. You can call it whatever you want. Create a new timeline by going to Window, Sequencing, Timeline. Click on the Create button and just save it. I'm going to drag this timeline window and dock it on the lower part of the screen. And here's an important tip timeline will lose focus so if I click on something else your timeline disappears but it really didn't disappear it just lost focus so click on this lock 
now no matter what you click on, your timeline is down here. All right, let's get this character running to start with. To do that, take your character from the hierarchy and just drag it down to the left side of this pane right there. And for that type of track, make it Add Animation Track. If your character doesn't show up right here, the name of your character, then just drag and drop it right here. But it should automatically show up. How do you get it to run and do things? In this empty area of your track, right click and select Add from Animation Clip. And this is where you add your animation clips together. I'm going to search for Run. And double click that and there's the run and there's our character running away all right got our character run now your character stops running right now if you want to continue to run just click this end and just drag it out like this and you'll see it loop dragging the timeline there's our character continuously running towards us time to add another motion to this and that will be a jump followed by a run and then we'll blend in waving as it runs or jumps. To add another clip, just like before, right click, add from animation clip, and I'm gonna type in jump. Make sure you named make sure you named your animation jump and you'll find it here. So jump. Click click. Alright, so you have this run and then you have it jump. Now the jump is going to start from the center right over here. You don't want that. You want to jump from this location where it stops running. Don't go way back there. Just right click on the jump clip and select match offsets from previous clip. And now your jump is relative. There it goes. Okay, so it jumps. Let me put an obstacle in this way so it makes a little more sense. Right click, 3D object, cube. And there's a cube want to jump over the cube. And as it jumps, you can see that its path is a little off. We'll fix that. All right, so there's the target for jumping. Run and now jump. Oh, you go right through it. So just pull back your running clip and slide on over your jump. Since I move my clips over, you can see there's this big gap in between all you have to do is select that clip again and, and use match offsets to previous clip again. And that will fix that. All right, almost made it over. I could cheat and just move the box. But really, it's about where the running part. Let's say it should be running up until here. And that's where the jump starts. So again, right click jump match offsets from the previous clip. Now the character does much better. When the character jumps though, let me move this box right here down this line of the grid. When the character jumps, see it does it at an angle. And you need to jump straight over that box. That's just the way this motion clip is. For the rotation, if you select the clip here and under the inspector, you could change the rotation. So go under Y and just drag, let's say this way, and that will offset the rotation of just this clip. Now our character knows how to jump straight along that grid line. To make it continue running, just right click here, add clip from animation, and select run. Just like before, you need to click on this clip and match offsets to the previous clip. Now it knows how to run from that spot. And you can extend that run as much as you want. Now that we have this animation set up, let's take a look at it in the bigger scene. Just go quickly turn on the scene and you know, in nature, as you run through nature, you usually encounter some type of geometry in your way. The last part is to get your character to wave as it does an action, whether it's jumping or running. And to do that, 
we're going to blend animation. No need to create a special run wave, jump wave, because that would be nuts. Too much stuff happening in that case. Turn back off the scene. All right, let's get this character waving. To do that, you need an avatar mask. Jumping to here, to your project area, right click, create, and select avatar mask. An avatar mask, let's call it wave, and it's going to wave just the left hand. You can have a wave right hand, doesn't have to be waving, could be anything. So avatar mask, when you click on it and go to inspector, it'll make a lot of sense what it does. Green means active area, so apply all the motion of a clip to this whole area. If you click off here, I just want the left hand to wave. This character is facing us, so that's the left hand waving. This will mask out any motion. It doesn't have to be the waving clip, but any motion that's turned off and only play the motion that's turned on. I and mean, we're going to be using this to make this character wave. Let's say it waves right after the jump to say, yep, I made it. To get that waving motion into the timeline, just click the triple dots right here and select Add Override Track. The Override Track is used to apply a layer of animation on top of something that already exists. For this Override Track, right click and Add from Animation Clip, and that will be the wave. Add the waving clip. So look what happens. Character starts to do its animation, then all of a sudden does this back there, waving, whatever, and then I'll jump back to the animation. We just want one arm to wave and for it to continue doing its running or whatever motion you want it to do. So you're just one step away from achieving a wave right here. Not right there, right here. The one step is just click on the override track and in the specter, you'll see there's an avatar mask, and this is the avatar mask that you just created. Click on wave left, and you're done. Ready, and wave. You successfully made it over the box. Congratulations. Well, let's take a look at this in the main scene, turning on the scenery. And now our character could wave down a food truck that sees by the lake. This is how you use the timeline editor and avatar mask and the override track to blend clips together. Going to add some motions, and just get your character into Mixamo. Click on the Animation tab. And from Animations, let's select a walk. If you want to preview it in place, click here. I don't need that. Download. And without skin, because we just need the motion from here. Repeat this process by finding different motions, like a run, download it without the skin. If you want to choose something fun, like a dance, go for it. Make your character dance. I'm just going to choose a regular two-handed wave for this demo, where I'll isolate one hand. Right before you export, you can see if the hand knocks into the character. If it does knock into the character, you can increase the arm spacing this way. Your hand is not going through. Download. 